there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another beautiful day here on the Stony Ridge. It's sprinkling rain. It's supposed to be 99 degrees today and it's Tool Tuesday here on the Stony Ridge. So this is the tool for today. This is the DR Field and Brush Mower 10.5 Pro Series awesome beast and I have not put it in the brush yet. You guys are here for the first time. We're going to knock the new off of this thing and we're going to test it out. I'm going to give you an honest opinion of what I think about it. I've been wanting one of these machines for the farm for a very, very long time. We've got a lot of brush that grows up in areas that I just can't access with the tractor. So we're going to get up in the bushes and we're going to beat the crap out of this DR field and brush mower and see if it's farm tough. All right, folks, welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm. This is your first time here, please pound the like button. If this is your 50 billionth time here, please hit the like button. We do everything farm and rural lifestyle related, including some cooking videos, and we're on a 150 acre first generation farm out here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. And this is the tool for Tool Tuesday. This is an awesome segment. I love tools. I'm a toolophile. So without further ado, we're going to walk around this machine before we fire it up and put it to work. And we're going to beat the snot out of this thing. It's going to be awesome. So we're going to do a quick walk around. This is the DR Field and Brush Mower. It has a 26 inch cut, okay? 26 inch cut is nice nice to have we raised this guy up it's the pro 26 model and you can see how it's constructed underneath it's basically a really heavy duty lawnmower blade right here and you got a real heavy duty spindle right there you've got a little guard to keep it from kicking stuff back a little rubber guard right there also a little rubber guard right here in the front everything is built really heavy and hardcore robust we're gonna lay this guy down it's pretty heavy it's a stout piece of machinery, guys. Now, underneath this little section right here, and this is in case you guys want to pick one up for yourself, uh, there's typically a bolt right here that holds this in place. We've got that bolt removed. And right here is the belt system, okay? So this belt is the drive system for this mowing deck. Now you can pull this pin and slide this deck off and you can put other attachments on this DR field and brush mower, which makes it awesome. That's what distinguishes this the Pro Series from the Premier Series, which is a little bit lesser of a model. However, if you're just using it for brush mowing, I think you'll be just fine. You can put a finish mower on this, you can put a snow plow on this, and you can also put, oh, what else is it? Uh, there are a few other different attachments, but those are the ones that it come to mind right away. So this has a Briggs & Stratton 10.5 gross horsepower, 344 cc engine, very easy to access your air filter, just pop this off right here. Bam, air filters right there. Cool cartridge type air filter, not that cheap foam air filter that you get in most lawnmower type uh, deals. Now we have a uh, robust, almost an ATV type tire, very heavy pneumatic tire uh, for digging and driving, okay? Uh, you can see it's a five lug, so it's a monster right there. We come up here, we take a look at the operator station. Uh, if this were, the larger model, they have a 14 and a 20 horsepower model, I do believe, then we would have a key start, okay? So it would have a starter, but this one has a smaller motor, so we just pull start it. Basically, your throttle's right here, and if you wanna engage your choke, you just push it all the way forward, just like that. Um, your gas container is right here. It looks like it's about a half of a gallon or so. Um, it says no E85, but I do believe, and you'll have to check your factory specs, but I do believe this is an ethanol-ready fuel system on this critter. I don't burn ethanol fuel in any of my power equipment. I find that it lasts longer. Now we've got a transmission, so we've got reverse, neutral, first, second, and third. Right now we are in neutral. We've got traction drive, so that drives the machine forward, and this lets them know that the operator is standing here. Here's how you engage your PTO. That's how you get that belt spinning. You just pull that up and that gets the belt spinning. And that is what drives this machine. So we're gonna slip our cover back on. We're gonna fire this critter up and let you guys see it running. So I've yet to start this machine today. This is gonna be the first pull, first start. I've got the choke on, the key is on. Uh, PTO is disengaged. Let's give her a tug. Our operator 
vibrator station right here. So I throttled her down. Uh, you see it idles smooth as silk. A lot of small engines don't like to do that. Uh, you can see it's easy to shift to reverse, neutral, first, second, third. Third is for transport typically or mowing really light. Second is for mowing like field, brush, uh, grass, stuff like that out bush hogging. And first is for plowing through the heavy brush like we're going to do today. And in order to make the machine move, all you do is pull that trigger right there, traction drive, and it takes off. Reverse, same thing. Turns with ease, uh, one-handed operation. I don't know that I'd recommend one-handed operation because it's super heavy, guys. Now we're going to rev it up and we'll engage the PTO real quick. We've got to pull this handle right here. So it runs. <laughs> if you have the PTO engaged and you release this handle right here on the left side, it will kill the engine, okay? It's a safety feature on this critter. Um, so basically, in order to shut it down, you just smack that right there. That's the uh, little PTO engagement right there. So there's not much to say. It's just a pretty simple machine. It's a belt-driven, heavy-duty brush mower, and we're gonna go get into some heavy-duty brush right now. So guys, before we get down into the really rough and tumble brush, we're gonna hit it right here in an area where I've got a few little saplings around a tree. This might be the ticket. I think it'll cut grass up to four to six feet tall, and it will cut saplings up to two inches. Now we're really pushing it with this sapling right here we're getting ready to hit. And it chews right through it, and then chops it up and almost just uh, uh, basically shreds it. Now we'll get in the grass right here and we'll just kind of zip back and forth a little bit, mow the grass. I'm pretty impressed with the cut. It's like a push mower pretty much. It cuts a little bit higher than a push mower. We're probably at about the five inch, four to five inch mark, something like that. Now you guys can see, we're gonna get around the garden beds just a little bit and this is just tall grass. Really, it's nothing to it. We're just gonna kind of zip around, almost using it like a push mower right here. And this could probably be mown with a really heavy duty push mower in a uh, high position. Now remember the motor on this thing is 10.5 horsepower, so it's got some serious beef to it. You can get up to the 20 horsepower with this series, the Pro Series, I do believe. The 14 horsepower is the next step up. We're gonna zip down the driveway here and we're gonna run on down to a huge mess and you guys are gonna love this. This thing's gonna chew through it, I hope. Now, <laughs> welcome to the jungle, man. We've got the true test right here. So we are in some heavy brush down here. And what this is, is an area that I had forestry mulched and a power company came in and dropped some trees in here. And I failed to maintain it for about a year and a half, maybe two years, which gives us a perfect opportunity to get in here. I can't get in here with a tractor or the mower of any sort because there's logs laying down in here. So I really have to be careful and be precise with my cutting. So we're going to zip on out through here. I'm not going to cut all this guys, but I am going to work my way in here and I'm going to give you an honest opinion of this machine. So far, I will say uh, it's heavy. Okay. So it's a, uh, it's a stout machine. It is self-propelled, but if you get the upgraded version, you can actually steer it uh, the right and left. So you can drive it the way you want to go. Uh, third gear is great for travel. It's good for mowing grass, okay? So like short grass, like your lawn. You could use this as a push mower to trim around your hedges and bushes and stuff like that too. So I'm finding there are many, many uses for it. Uh, however, third gear is basically for travel. Second gear is good for cutting and actually what we're gonna be using in here is probably gonna be more first gear. Let's get up in the woods and I'll show you. You really can't tell how thick this is until we walk on up in here. 
This stuff is thick. This is brush. This is debris. Look at this. This is a mess, an absolute mess. And it's been weighing on my conscience to clear it up. I've got a beautiful farm and I hate to leave something like this. So without further ado, we're going to work this area right here. We're going to leave a few trees. You'll see there are some willow oaks that I want to hang on to. I'm going to transplant those up to my yard and uh, have some big, beautiful trees in my front yard pretty soon. So we're going to get back in here and we're going to leave a few taller bigger trees and we're going to chop those down just show you guys how robust this thing is if it breaks it breaks <laughs> but it should cut up to a two inch sapling which is this critter right here is a two inch sapling and it's seven feet tall man Okay guys, you see me pushing through this and I'm trimming around these willow oaks down here because I'm gonna come back with a little backhoe and I'm gonna snatch these out of the ground and replant them in various places around the farm to beautify my farm and also to provide some shade for my cows out in the cow pasture. I messed up when I first built the farm and I cut all the trees out in the cow pasture and they really do require some shade in each paddock that they're in. Enough about the cows, let's just keep on working here. You'll see I've got the drone up in the air, and uh, man, I'm super impressed with this machine. It's a lot of shifting, so it's a lot of work with your hands, and it's a uh, fairly heavy, robust machine. So if you've got a lot of back trouble and stuff like that, you may want to think about getting the machine that has the steering. Uh, they have uh, two brake handles, one on each side, and that will help it steer for you. Third gear is too fast. It's too fast for doing anything other than transporting or mowing really short grass. Second gear is almost too fast for this thick, heavy brush. What's really cool is that I can get right up next to these trees that I'm mowing around and I can get a good clean cut all the way up next to them. So I don't have to come down here with a weed whacker or anything like that. I can get right up against those trees and not worry about hitting them with the blade on this mowing machine. I'm gonna get busy guys and we'll talk to you after we get done. It's throwing down some rain now, man. Ask me if it's miserable mowing in the rain. It's not bad. Uh, I like it. Uh, mowing in the rain like this uh, really puts the machine to the test and keeps me cool. So it's supposed to be, like I said, 99 degrees today. So I'm out here early and it is raining. It's going to be a scorcher later on. So let's walk around a little bit here and I'll show you. Um, you can see I left, these are willow oaks. I left a few of these. I will come down here. This is really sandy soil. There's a creek right there. This is a creek bottom. This is really sandy soil. I'll come down and I'll transplant these guys into pots and eventually we'll put those in uh, different places throughout the farm because they're beautiful trees. These will make great shade trees for the cows eventually. You can see, guys, this, this really did the trick. Now, let's look at the mower and I'll tell you, uh, we'll, we'll raise it up here, no, just like that. Again, it's not too dirty underneath. You can tell it was wet out. You really don't want to run your power equipment when it's wet, if you can help it. But that's what we had to do today, just to get everything done. Um, the only real issue that I see with this in there is an upgrade for steering uh, for a nicer model. And you can squeeze the handles here. There's like a brake handle that will steer you right and left. That's probably the only thing that I would change right here. Something really cool uh, for changing the oil. You've got an oil drain right here. And again, this is a Briggs and Stratton uh, engine. This is a E1050 Briggs and Stratton engine, uh, 344 cc. Tires held up great. They pushed right through this. Nothing the tires wouldn't push through. I found myself shifting a lot, okay? And you probably saw that in the video. Shifting back and forth. Typically, I'm mowing in the first gear when I'm going through really thick, heavy brush like this. Uh, sometimes second gear, but second gear is more for tall grass. So, and then neutral. If you need to move it, you need to turn, twist and turn. It's easier to move it with neutral. Now, this isn't driving both wheels at the same time. In other words, it's only driving one wheel. So I think you call that a limited slip type differential. Uh, I believe that's what you call it. Guys, post a comment, tell me what you think. So, so far, so good, awesome machine. Put it to the test, uh, no issues whatsoever. Just a absolute beast of a mower. I did hit a stump over here and I hit it pretty hard. 
didn't damage the blades, didn't do anything, just kind of stopped the machine for a second, but didn't even cut the machine off, so. So I say thumbs up, man. That is a beast. That is an absolute beast. Uh, the DR Field and Brush Mower, this is the Pro 26 model. You can put a wood chipper, a finish mower, and a snow plow, and I think they have other attachments too. I'll post a link to this critter down on the, uh, in the video description and in a pinned comment in case you guys want to check one out. But that's the DR Field and Brush Mower, and as you can see, it mows fields and it mows brush. That's what it's supposed to do. Awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you enjoyed this awesome Tool Tuesday. Just putting tools to the test here on the Stony Ridge Farm. It's a great time. We'll see you next time. Be sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Love to have you back here on the farm with me. I gotta go feed the cows. Come on down.